On the flight path to sustainability, Sustainable Aviation Fuel, or SAF, will play a major role. Did you know that by using sources such as household waste, used cooking oil, or plants like Carinata instead of traditional jet fuel, we can reduce life cycle CO2 emissions by up to 80%? On top of this potential to greatly reduce aviation's carbon footprint, airlines have committed to only use SAF made from truly sustainable sources that conserve ecological balance. Over 200,000 flights have taken off using SAV since 2016. More than 40 airlines now have experience with it, and the industry has committed to buy another 6 billion litres in the coming years. We've made a start, but we need a lot more. A tipping point for SAF will be when it powers around 2% of all flights, something we think will be possible as soon as 2025. This will create the momentum for much faster increases in SAF production for future years. At this point, it will start making a significant impact on reducing aviation's overall carbon emissions. To get to this point, SAF production needs to grow from its current level to 7 billion litres a year in 2025. For this to be a reality, SAF needs to scale fast. Today, SAF costs more to produce than conventional kerosene and renewable diesel. It is only available in limited locations and lacks needed government support. Production is gradually springing up at facilities around the globe using various sources. But we need even more thrust to reach this goal. What's more, aviation has to compete for sustainable fuel production with ground transport, which has the ability to use other forms of clean energy like electricity. However, air transport has fewer options at this time and is far more dependent on sustainable fuels for its climate action. SAF can make a crucial contribution to a sustainable future with continuous airline demand and strong government backing. Support for research and development an incentive framework like those already in place for ground transport and public-private partnerships could make all the difference. While SAF has seen decent growth so far, this is a sector that is about to take off. As new production facilities come on stream over the next few years, output will increase exponentially. With the right support, the tipping point of 7 billion litres is within our reach. Despite a promising start, SAF is yet to go mainstream. Similarly, uptake was also a challenge for other sustainable technologies in their early phases. Wind energy and solar installations grew slowly for years before going on to make a sizable contribution to electricity generation. These successes were made possible by robust public sector support and favorable regulatory regimes. Green technologies are often immature and need nurturing until they are commercially viable. They need the right policy environment and, in some cases, subsidies, so technologies can be perfected and economies of scale achieved before taking their place in a competitive market. Ramping up production of SAF could also create new jobs and new opportunities for communities and energy independence for countries. With the right policies, initiative, and leadership, SAF can be a ticket to our destination. Carbon neutral growth from 2020 onwards and cutting CO2 output in half by 2050. Flying is freedom. SAF can fuel this freedom for a brighter future. Now, we all need to be on board to shape a sustainable future together.